Hello, my name is Chuck Tuck and I'm part of the Aver team. I'd like to thank you today for joining me in the introduction of the new Aversphere software. Now this software is going to allow you to integrate your document camera, a webcam, and different forms of media as an example of video or still images all together in one place. And what's more that makes this very exciting is you're able to take videos that you've captured and upload them immediately to your social network site. For example, Facebook or a YouTube account. So if you're ready, let me take you through some of the steps here. First of all, top left corner here where it says Fear, I'd like to show you something within the settings. So if I click on settings, you notice it says video. I'm able to select my microphone selection, my volume. I'm also able to select the quality of the resolution of the video that I capture and the directory where that's going to be saved. Now on the webcam, hello there. If we had a couple different webcams, I was able to select the one that I want to use. And site login. This is where you're going to put in your username and password for these social media sites. As you see, YouTube, Dropbox, TwitPic, Facebook, or Picasa. So as an example, if I was to record a lesson plan and I wanted to upload it to a Dropbox or another teacher or student could download it, you can do it right here. Same with YouTube, and it's all seamless. You can see that I already have my username and my password set for Facebook. So once you do that, you click on Validate, and it makes sure that the account is still active. And once it is, and you're ready to go, you click Save. Okay, so why don't we start off by going up to the top again and just rehashing, Sphere, Setting, and you have your site login, webcam, and video. Okay, so now I'd like to go over some of the tools that you have here. First of all, this is a document camera that you see right here. I have my hand underneath, live image. I click on the document camera icon and it gives me my tools for the document camera. So you see where it has autofocus. I click on that, it'll focus. I want to zoom in or zoom out. Or maybe I just want to reset the zoom to 100%. Here we are. I can pause my image. I can rotate my image around. And I can mirror. So it just flips it or I could go into the adjust image and manually adjust the brightness and contrast of the image I can also do a manual focus so as an example if I had something that had some depth to it and I wanted to focus just in the center this is perhaps where you want to go and do a manual focus your different camera modes are going to allow you to go from the color to black and white if I press that again it brings me back to color the next button is going to be for negative, so it reverses. And click it again, brings me back to color. Some of the other icons here, auto image, that will address or make an adjustment for the average lighting in the room. You have a microscope mode, and you also have a text mode. So when we come back out here to the main menu, and go over the annotation. So within the annotation, I have a selection of freehand, lines, shapes, text, and deleting or delete all. So as an example on freehand, both freehand and straight line is going to allow you to select the thickness of the line that you want and the transparency level. Transparency at 0% is a solid line. So if you want to make a highlighter, I suggest going to, oh, say about... 70 percent. You can even go to 80 if you want. And make this about oh, 24, between 24 and 34. So once you're ready, go ahead and select the color. And there's your highlighter. We'll try it right here. Let me select a different color. Okay. Now I'm going to click freehand again. If I want to delete something, I have to make sure I select that. As you can see, I've selected this. Then I could click on delete. Remember, we have two other things here. If I want to delete everything, 
all my annotation, all my text. Just click delete all. Just to quickly show you the free, uh, from the free hand to the straight line, same thing. You select the thickness, your transparency level, then you go ahead and select the color. Sure. And here we are. Okay. Now, if I wanted to move it, I have to make sure I come back out. I'm not in here. Because if I was here, I'm still making lines. Click on line. Now I can select it and I can move it. Okay. And that goes with any line. And remember, delete or delete all. Shape is going to be the same thing. It's just going to make different shapes. Text will be the same. I'm going to select the font style that I want to use. I'm going to select the font size, whether I want a bold, italicize, or underline, and then the color. And there we are. Probably should have made that a little bit larger, so I come back. If I want to make it bigger, let's go 48. There we are. Remember, in order to move it, I'm going to have to come back out to this area so I can select it and I can move it around to where I need it to go. Let's come back out here to the main menu. See that we have a presenter mode. If you're familiar with our Aver document cameras, we had a presenter mode which gives you a spotlight and a visor. Same thing here. For a spotlight, if I was to click on that, I can just spotlight or highlight one particular area. I can grab the ends and adjust the size. And now we're really focused just on a particular area that we want to take a look at. If I want to get out of this mode, make sure you just come up to the top right and click on that to X out. The visor, you all remember this where we used to take a sheet of paper and just reveal line by line question to answer. Well, same thing, now it's in the digital form. Okay. Upper right again to click out of that mode. Why don't we come back out to the main menu one more time. And you see that I have a record mode, capture and split screen. So record if I was to click on that. Give me the countdown to actually record what I have up here or underneath the document camera. I'm going to go ahead and click to stop it. If I have my Facebook account all set up, I just check my Facebook. It's authenticating. It's good to go. I click save. It automatically uploads it to my Facebook, my Dropbox, or my YouTube account, anything that I want. It also save it to the directory that we originally went up to in the sphere setting and we designated where we're going to save the files. It'll be saved there as well. I'm just going to go ahead and click cancel out on that. And we'll get out of here. Capture. It's going to give me an option of capturing the full screen or just what's underneath the document camera or a time lapse. So if I want to do time lapse photography, I could tell it to take a snapshot every one second, two seconds, ten minutes, every hour for the next seventy two hours. And then you just go ahead and click start and it'll go ahead and start taking pictures automatically. Okay, we'll come back out to the main menu. Split screen. Now this is where it gets really exciting. As I mentioned earlier, that you can actually integrate the document camera with a webcam and some media. So that will be done under split screen. So I'll click the split screen. You can see where it says dot cam. That's gray. So this is the gray area. The pink shows webcam. So if I have a webcam built into my laptop, it's going to show up in the upper right hand corner. I'll give you a quick example. So I click on that. There it is, the webcam up there, and this is the document camera underneath here. Now, if I was to come over to split that 50-50, here we go. 
So some of the neat things that you could continue doing here is if I come back out to my main menu, go to my annotation, click on my freehand, select the color I want. Now I could be giving a lesson plan and talking at the same time and highlighting as I go. Now I'm not going to be able to do it over here on the live image of the webcam, but I can do it over underneath the live image of the document camera. Okay, so remember, click annotation, come back out here. We're going to click delete all to erase everything over on this side. I'm going to come back to my main menu and go to split screen. This time I'm going to do the three-way split. I'm still live up here with my webcam up in the upper right hand corner. This is still a live image down here. You see my fingers. Now for the media, over to your left you notice it says media library. I've captured different images and I've saved stuff in here. So I'll click this and I can drag it and drop it in here. And there's a video. So let me play that again. All right. So I can even have a still a still image down here if I'd like. So it'll be giving a comparison maybe between what's underneath the document camera live and what it should look like after maybe five hours. So if you're doing a science experiment, it's very good. Okay, I'm gonna come back up and we're just gonna go back to the full screen of the document camera. Okay. I will continue and come back out to the main menu and show you one last thing here. This is the widget mode. So this is fantastic. Again, remember, if I was recording and if I want to use the widget mode, what it's going to do is it puts the document camera underneath here. And now I could go out to website or I can use, say, a PowerPoint presentation running in the background. Or if I wanted to change this, I can go ahead and click. Once again, I can still zoom in, zoom out. I still have all those full controls. Okay. And I said recording, still images, anything I want. I can hide that or bring this back out or click on the widget button again and it brings us back to the normal. Well, that concludes the quick introduction of the Sphere software. I hope you've enjoyed this, and please remember to go to www.averusa.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.